Hey guys, Super Mario Studios here in, and I know what you're wondering. Super Mario Studios, why have you been gone for like a month or so? Well, the reason why, because I was busy with something, and that was education. Now, my human version of myself, or should I say my director, will actually explain to you of, you know, why he has been gone for like a month or so. So... I better call him. Hey, director! Yep. So if you're wondering what my Mario persona said and how you guys might be asking like, Super Mario Studios, why have you been gone for like a month? And what have you been doing lately? Well, the reason why I've been gone for like a month, guys, is because I've been really busy with education and all that. And I know you also might be asking, like, Super Studios, why are you wearing both a cap and gown? Well, the reason why, guys, is because just recently I graduated high school. Yeah. On the 7th of June, 2024, I graduated high school in the year of 2024. Yep. It's been like a really tough and long journey for me, guys, since, I mean, it ranged from like, from starting at the age of four when I was diagnosed on the autism spectrum and how education was kind of like a tough challenge for me, especially when it comes to educating students who are on the spectrum, you know, like how it can be challenging to educate us, but luckily I was able to pass through elementary, middle school, and now high school, I was able to pass that. And yeah, and you're also wondering like, why do you have these gold ropes and also a medal? Well, the reason why is because for the gold rope guys, I actually graduated with honors. And also for the medal, I actually graduated with an excellence in humanities. Now, if you don't know what humanities are, humanities is literature with the studying of human culture. So, like, of how, for example, in human culture, like, when I actually explained to people about uh, the Communist Manifesto, which was written by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, where they believe capitalism has caused an unequal division of two classes, the proletariat, which is the working class and makes it the majority society and the bourgeoisie or bourgeois, the wealthier class where they're the owners of capital. They own stuff like properties, factories, buildings, and just plain money. And how they both were viewed as something. You see, Marx and Engels viewed that capitalism just exploits the proletariat, making people work long hours at meaningless jobs for not enough money. And while the bourgeoisie just gets all the rewards of their hard work, and they even predicted how that the proletariat would revolt against the bourgeoisie. There they would take over the factories and the governments and just set up a new society where everyone's work would be valued equally. Which, that is what communism is in theory. But unfortunately, his ideology never really materialized in real life because they just give rise to dictatorships and honestly, it doesn't work. Like really, it doesn't work. The same goes to socialism, it doesn't work. That is an example of humanities, like the research of human literature, of human culture. And I also know, Sumar Studios, since you graduated high school, what are you gonna do now? Well, I actually have plans of attending college. And you might also be like, oh, what are you gonna major in? Hmm, well, I'm gonna major in both world languages and also can't forget film production since, uh, I know you might be asking like, film production, what is that? Or like, why is that? Well, I'll answer the why is that because the thing is, I have a passion of being a voice actor, but not just that, also a voice director as well, since I've met over like, just recently I met over 28 voice actors with my recent ones being both Lex Lang, who voices Dr. Neo Cortex in Crash Bandicoot, Suguru Geto in Jujutsu Kaisen, Goemon Ishikawa in Lupin the Third, and also, the Doorman and Hunley in Curious George. And can't forget Allegra Clark who voices Beto in Genshin Impact, 
Achiron and Honkai Star Rail and Maki Zenin and Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> yeah, so those are 28 voice actors I have met. And since my dream is actually be a voice actor. Especially guys, if you remember the video I made, which is of uh, my Mario voices, both uh, from the movie and the games as well. I'll send a link in the description below. So yeah. And also, you might also be asking like, Super Mario Studios, what did you get for graduating? Well, I actually got my, uh, it's actually uh, some kind of book that would be like this. Guys, it's this kind of like book that actually is used to put the diploma in. Let me pull it out. Now, this is where we put the diploma in, guys. Yeah. Oh, and also, um, I also did get some stuff, actually, I received. Like, for example, I got this letter, which when I opened it, I actually it was actually from my parents, called Congrats Grad, and, and actually, it was about this. The day has finally came of your graduation, and on the 7th of June, 2024, you just finished the first chapter of your life, of what started... 14 years of preschool to later of all the challenges, difficulties that you've achieved and with the tenacity, perseverance and everything it took for me to get to this day and then know that the next chapter would be full of challenges and unknown things and we ain't given up and achieving much very far. And also to see how the young that I am, I've converted into a mature and I've learned a lot and I even know the better of everything that I have in a giant heart and a Nobel grand. And I am grand, special and unique. Uh, they love me so much and they are very proud of me and I'm not gonna give up dreaming with perseverance of all the dreams I've achieved. I can't forget that. And also, son, your hard work and dedication have paid off. Best wishes for a bright and successful future ahead. So proud of you. They'll be always there to help with all their heart. Mod Pops, we love you. Mm-hmm, that's what I've gotten. And also, I also can't forget, guys, uh, there's also another thing I've also gotten, which is, uh, let me get it out, guys. Oh, I can't forget, I also gotten myself some kind of, uh, teddy bear, actually. Uh, it's actually, uh, this, guys, it's a teddy bear, actually, of class of 2024. It's a graduation plushie. This is actually for me. Yep, and I also can't forget, I also got a water bottle, like, right here, which says, you are capable of amazing things. And it has this little lid to make it look like it's like the tassel of a captain right here. I also can't forget, my parents even got me this thing, actually. Look. Hooray, grad. And it has candies, like... M&M's on both sides. Bags of M&M's, Skittles, Swedish Fish, and Tootsie Rolls. Mm -hmm. It's a candy blossom. It's a candy bouquet, guys. So, yeah. I just want to say thank you for all the friends and family that I've had for many years of supporting me throughout my life in education throughout from elementary school to high school and even to help me beyond the future so yeah this has been a great long journey that I've had for many decades from at the age of four being on the autism spectrum to even going to preschool to even going to elementary school, to middle school, to high school, and now to start my adventure in post-secondary education. Yeah. So yeah, 
that is the reason why I've been gone for about like a few, a month or so. Because I was prepping up for graduation. Mm -hmm. Also, shout out to Sonic Rob who graduated a few weeks ago. Congratulations, Sonic Rob. You did really great. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, comment down below, like, what plans do you have? Like, for example, if you're a recent graduate of high school, comment down below what plans do you have when you graduated high school? Like, are you going to go to, like, serve in the military, going to start working, going to college, etc. And I'll be gladly to hear them out. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.